Hi everyone, happy Sunday. I hope you've had a lovely week so far. Today I'm back with a Shein haul. I haven't done one of these for a while and I thought I would do one for the autumn season, which I'm so excited about. I've tried to make it look all cosy in here. I hope you're getting the vibes. I've got the lamps on, I've got a little cardigan on. I hope it looks cosy. I do have quite a lot to show you, so I would definitely say go make yourself a cup of tea, get some biscuits, and then sit down and watch this video because I think it could potentially be quite a long one. I have got so much stuff in front of me right now. So obviously these pieces are from Shein, which is a fast fashion brand. I do get comments from people saying you should buy from places like Depop, etc. But for me, buying secondhand, buying clothes on the internet that I can't physically see and I can't return them just doesn't work for me because a lot of the time I've bought things off Depop and they just don't fit me and they end up going in the bin which is literally worse for the environment. Pieces from Shein, I can try them on, I can see if I like them, I can send them back. And I also try to buy pieces that I can see myself wearing in 10 years. These are all classic pieces. I don't buy trend pieces. I don't buy pieces that will be in style five minutes and then back out of style five minutes later. I just don't do it. I think I have quite a classic style. So I completely understand why people say to shop sustainably. I do try to buy pieces that I can see myself wearing over and over and over and over again until I've literally got holes in, which is pretty much the case for my whole wardrobe. I buy pieces that I keep and rewear and rewear and rewear. So I do try to be smart about shopping from fast fashion brands we all shop from fast fashion brands but I think it's important to try and buy pieces that aren't just in trend right now but things that you can see yourself wearing in the long term with that being said let's get into the video I have lots to show you and let's start with accessories so I actually picked up two phone cases because I saw them on there and I thought they were just the cutest thing in the world so the first one has this little this is very much not my style but I just really thought it was adorable it's got these little heart like glass beads on and it just looks so cute it's like a little handle so that you don't drop your phone um, and I just really like it I think it looks really really cute isn't that just the sweetest thing in the world I think it is absolutely adorable it just looks so cute and sweet and then I got this one which is just like a milky colored phone case um, I really like this one as well it's got a little card holder on the back so you can pop your credit card in there or your ID if you happen to get asked for ID a lot I just thought they were both really sweet both really minimal but I just love the little details of the beads on it really cute I also got myself a pair of boots. So I really wanted a pair of brown leather boots for a really long time, but I just didn't know if I would wear them very often because I'm pretty much a black shoe type of girl. Most of my shoes are black, or if they're sandals, then they're brown. I've never owned a brown pair of knee-high boots in my life, I'm pretty sure. So I wanted to try them out for a cheaper price in case I don't end up wearing them um, because obviously I don't want to spend like £300 on a pair of shoes and then never actually reach for them. So I got these from Shein, they look really nice. Um, they look like they're going to be potentially a little bit big on the leg but I'm not sure but they just look so cute. I feel like they could go with pretty much everything I've bought in this video actually. It could even go with what I'm wearing right now but I just thought they were the perfect brown colour, the heel isn't too high and they're just really wearable so I thought I'd pick them up and see if I like them, see if I wear them, and if I do wear them a lot, I will definitely invest in a higher end pair of shoes. These next few pieces, I can literally already hear you saying, Vic, you would never wear that. Why have you got that? But let me explain myself. So when I'm filming and shooting, getting changed in and out of outfits all the time, I never have something that I can just throw on, and it's so annoying. I can't get along with jogging bottoms. I just can't do it, I can't wear a tracksuit I just can't I just it's not in me it's just not it's just not there I've tried it I hated it Lou said I look like a weirdo because I just don't wear things like that but I saw these and I thought you know what they look really comfy they look really cute and this might be the answer to my problem because on a shooting day where I'm filming TikToks reels YouTube videos stuff like that it's like I'm shooting from say like 10 until 5 if the lighting allows me to and I'm getting changed over and over and over and over and over again and when I have a little break or I'm putting things away in between shooting I have nothing to put on so I end up walking around naked and then the door knocks and I'm like oh I don't know what to do so I found these <laughs> these little um short sets which I think are really really sweet it's just like a little crop top and shorts it's going to be so easy to just throw on and take off again they're this like they feel like a blanket like have you had those blankets from Primark before they literally feel like one of those they're so soft and they came in a set of cream brown and also baby pink they do it in lots of different color options but I thought this was just you know more my aesthetic you can kind of tell this kind of goes in my vibe, this colour wave. So I grabbed these, I thought they were perfect just for like 
being around the house kind of as like loungewear pajama type things but also if you wanted to pop to like mcdonald's or tesco in these it would look pretty much normal because it's just shorts and a crop top like it looks like you're wearing like sportswear kind of so that is why i got these and they're so comfy i'm so glad that i got them now let's move on to dresses you guys know i have a weakness for dresses i got three this time i just couldn't help myself so first up i got this really sweet like kind of pinafore dress i feel like you should wear something underneath this probably actually i think it'll look okay on its own but i think a nice little white shirt could look really nice under this as well the quality feels really nice of this i'm not lying when i say this feels like zara it genuinely does it's really thick it feels like it could be from zara um i really really like this i think it's so cute i think this with a pair of black knee high boots could just look absolutely gorgeous with a nice little bag i think it's just such a vibe for the autumn winter and i cannot wait to try this on i also love the fact that the buttons are gold because you guys know me i love my gold jewelry i just realized that i'm not wearing any rings how weird um but my earrings are gold i've got a gold necklace on i've got gold bracelets and i'm usually wearing gold rings so i just love the details on this i think it's so beautiful this is something that i probably would have been too nervous to wear last year but i'm I'm trying to embrace the fact that I am a very feminine person and that's okay and if I want to dress frilly I can I don't need to explain to people why I can just wear it if I want to this dress I thought was just the most perfect piece because I think there are a million ways you could wear this I think you could dress this up so easily but you could also wear it really casually as well I think you could pop this on with some black tights some black bike boots and a leather jacket with a more casual bag and just kind of wear it as a day-to-day -day dress but I also think you could pop it on with a pair of beautiful heels and really really dress it up I think it's perfect for so many different occasions birthdays dinners date night funerals more bit as that is or just day-to-day -day life I think it's so easy I love the fact that the sleeves are sheer as well with the little polka dots and that they kind of look like they're going to balloon out a little bit I love that detail as you guys know it's got a zipper up the back and I also love the ruching around the bust area I think it's really pretty but I just love this dress I think it's so gorgeous so easy to wear and obviously it's black so it's really flattering I really love the look of this and I can't wait to try it on this dress I'm so excited about because I think it is just so pretty. I feel like it's just me in a dress. So it is this beautiful embroidered dress. It kind of reminds me of a needle and thread dress, but obviously at a fraction of the price. I think this is just stunning. It has these sheer sleeves with the embroidery all the way down. I think it's just, oh my God, so gorgeous. Just look at the details on this, it's stunning. I don't like, if I'm going to be honest here, I don't like the fact that the waistband is just a thick piece of elastic. Um, I think it makes it look a little bit cheap. Obviously Shein is very inexpensive, but I just personally don't like that detail. I think it just looks cheap. <laughs> it just looks cheap to me. So I will be putting my own belt over the top of this. All I have for black belts is a Gucci belt and I think the logo could look a little bit funny because of how much detail is on the dress. So please ignore that on the try on clips, but I don't have a plain black belt. But I just thought this was the most gorgeous thing ever. I love, I just love it. I really, really love it. I think it's so beautiful. And I might actually wear this for my mom's birthday dinner this weekend because it is just so pretty. And there's just so much detail in the embroidery. It's got shimmery fabric through it as well. I think this could also be a lovely Christmas dress, dare I say it, <laughs> but it is coming. Um, and I just think it's, I just think it's lovely. I can't wait to try this on. I think it's so beautiful. Now let's move on to jumpers. I have like a billion jumpers to show you right now. So let's speed through them. So the first one I got is this beautiful, I want to say this is white, but it's not quite. It's more of an ivory color, I suppose. It's gorgeous. I know the camera isn't going to react very well to this, but it is just so lovely. It's a cable knit jumper, it's v-neck, it's got these beautiful sleeves, it's just perfect. I just love this jumper so much. I think there are so many different ways to wear it. You could wear it under a dress like that pinafore dress, or you could wear it with jeans, or you could tuck it into a skirt. I think there's just endless ways to wear a jumper like this because it is so simple. Um, and I just think it's, I just think it's lovely. It's really soft as well. It's like a really stretchy, soft material. It kind of feels like something my nan would have knitted at home. It's just gorgeous. I love it. I love the cable knit and I love how simple it is as well. Well, I even think a jumper like this could look really nice just kind of over a skirt like if you had a skirt underneath and you pulled the jumper out you didn't tuck it in I think it could look really really cute and I can't wait to style this the next jumper I got is actually a sweater vest I got a few of these because I've been loving them so much obviously they came into trend like last year I'm pretty sure it was but they're still here and I also feel like they're quite a classic if you style them the right way I don't think it has to be a trend piece I think it's something that you can re-wear I mean Chandler has been wearing them since the 90s so 
if he can what you can do you know what i mean yeah <laughs> so this is the one that i got it's just beautiful it's a creamy color i think this color just fits so seamlessly into my wardrobe because i have so many pieces that will just go with it um i really really like it i like the neckline on it i like the knit on it i like how it's got different details down the middle to the sides i think that looks really cute and i just think there are so many ways to wear it over skirts over jeans over dresses tucked in it just looks really nice i think they're so easy to wear and definitely a staple in my wardrobe i think throwing this on with even like a pair of leggings and some biker boots instantly kind of elevates your outfit from putting on like a hoodie and leggings I think it just makes it look a little bit more put together and it's still just as comfortable as well I love pieces like this where they're so versatile you can easily dress them up dress them down and they just add a little bit of like class to an outfit I suppose I also got a houndstooth one. You guys know me, I wear a lot of black. Um, I think it's a colour that everyone wears a lot of, to be honest, but I just love this. I thought it was so cute. I now have a cream sweater vest, a houndstooth sweater vest, and a black one, so I think I'm done. I think I've got everything that I need, uh, but I just really like this. I think it's so pretty. Actually, looking at this, I don't think it is houndstooth. I actually don't think it is houndstooth, um, but I just think it's so cute. I think I could wear this with like a black leather skirt. I think that could look really cute. I also have some black leather shorts that I could potentially wear this with, and obviously black jeans, black leggings, white jeans. I feel like there are so many ways to wear these, like I said, so I got it in two different colours. This piece isn't actually a sweater vest. I don't know what you would call this. It has these big open sleeves on the side, like it's just a big open sleeve. It's quite boxy. It has these little buttons on the front, but I just thought it was so cute and again so easy to wear i thought this with like some blue jeans and brown boots could be a really cute autumn outfit i was just vibing with it i don't know I just thought this could make the cutest outfit ever. I love the little brown buttons on it. I also think this could look nice over a skirt with some brown boots, maybe the knee-high boots that I showed you earlier in the video, but I really like this. It's so stretchy. It kind of looks like, I don't know, like a pinafore top, maybe? I don't know what you would even call this. If you know what the style of this is called, please let me know, because I honestly do not know, but it's so comfy, it's really stretchy, and it also feels like one of those knits that when you wash it, it will still come out feeling nice and soft. I hate when you wash a jumper and then it just feels like cardboard after you've washed it. I don't think this will do that. <laughs> I also got a jumper dress which I'm so excited about because I think this is going to look so cute. I do need to buy some elastic off Amazon because what I'm planning on doing is the little, have you seen the hack on TikTok where you get a safety pin and then you put some elastic through it and then you kind of pin it from side to side and it cinches the waist in? That's what I want to do with this. I think it's going to look gorgeous once I've done it. Unfortunately I don't have any elastic in the house right now so yeah sorry but you'll have to see it on my instagram if you want to see me styling it like that and i think this cinched in at the waist could just look gorgeous with those knee-high brown boots and a little handbag i think this is going to be the cutest outfit ever again it's really thick it feels really really like soft and stretchy i love the color of it i love the cable knit as well i think it's such a classic piece to have and even just for lounging around the house just to like throw on get work done it's like you're wearing pajamas but you're not that's kind of how i feel about this cardigan like it's a really nice cardigan but it feels like you just walk around in a blank lastly for knitwear i got a big chunky oversized cardigan you guys know i love these i love wearing these with just like a pair of leggings a little like black crop top and then a big chunky cardigan like this is just a vibe for me it's a weekend vibe like that with a pair of converse it's just what i love i love comfy clothes this has got like big chunky balloon sleeves it tapes in it's cable knit and it's just massive and really drapey i don't know what size i got this in but i'm pretty sure i will have sized up on this for reference i wear an extra small or a small if there isn't an extra small available and i wear an extra small in zara or a uk six i wear a 34 in mango hopefully that helps you guys <laughs> if you think you're a similar size to me then that is what i wear and that is what i buy from shein but this cardigan i just think is perfect i'm not really sure on the colour of this, is it like a greyish? Would you say it's like a greyish colour? Like a grey beige? I think that is what I would say this is, a greyish. But I really like it, I think it's so nice. Um, the quality feels really good for the price as well. Um, can't complain, really like it. I can't wait to put this on with a pair of leggings and a little top. Only two things left, I told you guys that I thought this would be a long video, but I got a tennis skirt. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. It's a gorgeous little white skirt, it's just got shorts underneath. Me and Lou really want to start playing tennis and I didn't have anything to wear other than leggings and honestly I'm just kind of living for the tennis skirt vibes. Like I just want to wear a tennis skirt with some cute socks and a cute outfit and a little cap. 
I don't know, I'm just vibing with it. So I got this really sweet little tennis skirt. I'm so glad I got it. It's really stretchy as well. It feels like really nice material. And I just think it looks so pretty and crisp and I can't wait to wear it. And then the last item I got is actually a dressing gown. So I got this beautiful pink satiny robe. It's like a beautiful baby pink. I thought it was just the cutest thing in the world. It also comes with a belt. This is almost identical to my robe from Victoria's Secret. It's got the flouncy out sleeves. It's got the flouncy out hem. Obviously the quality does feel different, but I think my one from Victoria's Secret was like about 60 pounds, maybe, maybe more than that. I can't actually remember, but obviously considering the price difference, the quality feels great. It's not too dissimilar to my one from Victoria's Secret. I really, really like this. I love robes like this because I hate wearing like big fluffy dressing gowns because they're just not they're just not my vibe I like to have something like silky on that makes you feel like sexy and this definitely does it for me I love the color of it I think it's so beautiful and I love the fact that it's got a belt as well because I hate the ones that just gape open um so yeah that is the last piece that I got doesn't it just look like whimsical I think it's so cute it looks like something Barbie would wear. So that is everything I have to show you guys in today's video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Shein for sponsoring today's video. I literally love everything that I've got. I, I, I'm struggling to pick a favourite. There's usually one thing that stands out to me but I love everything so much in this video I don't think I actually have a favourite. There are just too many things to pick from. I love everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the description box where you can find a discount code to get a little bit of money off as well. And also if you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok, it would be much appreciated. They're both linked in the description box, but if you just search at Victoria Underwood X, I should come up. And yeah, I'll see you guys next Sunday with a new video. Bye.